Now I want to share with you my six keys to health and healing. You can download this as a PDF, guys, at holistichealingvet.com. It's free. I want this to be your Bible. So step number one, we have to stop doing the things that are causing the problem. So we have to stop the pollution. And that is learning about species appropriate diet. What we're feeding is one of the most important things that we can do to help improve their health. The type of water that we're giving these animals do not use tap water. It is loaded with over 85,000 toxins. And then we have to look at the environment. What is touching their skin? What is the air quality? What is the laundry soaps that you're using? What are your house cleaning products? Because all of that is affecting the pet. And then the electromagnetic pollution, like we are not appreciating how much 5G is decimating our health. It is huge. Um, I had an issue where my, I didn't have a 5G meter up until very recently. And the, my utilities company said, we, we're going to put a meter on your house. And if I didn't put the meter on, they were going to remove my solar program because I have solar. Well, my solar bill really saves me a lot of money. So I had made a Faraday cage and I was going to put that on, on the agreed date that they were going to install my meter. Unbeknownst to me, they jumped my fence two weeks earlier and put the meter on and my health plummeted. And I was having heart arrhythmias. My, I was monitoring my deep sleep because I was doing a EMF study for the company that makes some of my EMF protection. And I had zero deep sleep. I had very poor sleep overall. And then when they came out to put the meter on, uh, the guy said, oh, I don't understand. <laughs> you have a meter. It's the wrong one, but you have one. And as soon as I discovered that I put the Faraday cage on, my arrhythmias were gone within eight hours. However, it took me three months of diligent work to recover my adrenal glands. So it is a big deal, guys. And I have a lot of information on how to find out what your EMF problems are and how to mitigate it. But the last thing on the pollution is the ants in our brains. And this is, I, I will argue, almost as important as anything else we do in our life. And that are the automatic negative thoughts. So people ask me, how is it that at my age, I am still so vibrant and, and out there and doing everything. And the answer is my mindset. Plus, of course, I take care of my body, but I'm almost 70 years old and I refuse to age ungracefully. I check my biomarkers and I, my biomarkers are a body of a 50 year old. And it's because I have the mindset and then the lifestyle to support that. So gratitude. Start your day with gratitude. Think about things you're grateful for throughout the day and end your day with gratitude because you are producing neurotransmitters that are affecting the animal because they entrain to our energy. So when you're thinking negative thoughts or you're having stressful experiences, that is causing you to make these neurotransmitters that are telling your cells there's danger out there. And we'll talk about the mitochondria in a minute and what that means to them. So super, super important. Number two, we have to supply all the essential nutrients that the body needs to do its job. We are a machine. And if your car didn't have gasoline, it wouldn't run. Don't be disillusioned by the fact that our bodies continue to run despite the fact that they're missing things and they're toxic because we are designed to survive. And that means that our body will try to adapt as long as it can to less than perfect circumstances. However, at some point it's going to give up because it's going, oh gosh, I've been holding out and it's not getting better. And now you see dis-ease starting to happen. Number three, you have to heal the leaky gut. And number four is detoxification of the six organs of, elim of elimination, which is my detox centers. And the reason why I realized that we have to have detox centers is because most people don't know how to detox. And if you start treating something like the C word <laughs> and you start killing abnormal cells and they don't have a place to go, you are going to get more sick or you're going to make your pet more sick. So super important that we understand detoxification. Number five is the mitochondria. We have to have mitochondria to run our body. And if they are in cell danger response mode, if they're not responding because they think the mothership is going down, then you won't have the energy to run your body and you won't have the communication between them and the microbiome to be able to know what is being turned on and turned off. And then 
Number six, last but not least, is clearing those trapped emotions. You know, those uh, stinking thinking things that we have going through our mind that are causing us to be in the past and in the future, but not in the present. So once we recognize what our uh, limiting beliefs are, what our uh, trapped emotions are, then we can heal that and put them in the past. 